Hey, it's Travel Mama Anna Bunn and Luna Tuna here, and today we're going to talk about solo female travel. This is kind of a big one. More and more women are traveling by themselves. I've traveled extensively around the world by myself, and I've got some little tips here, some tips for you on how to travel safely as a woman by yourself. If you like this channel, you should subscribe to it. Right, Luna? <laughs> yeah, subscribe. So one of my first travel tips is that you should book your travel well. I like to take local travel, local buses, chicken buses, that kind of thing. I don't do it by myself in a new country where I've never done it before. I just don't. It's because I need to know where I'm going a little bit. So if it's your first time especially, just take the shuttles. All the big hostels, all the big hotels, Airbnbs, they can help you book your shuttles. The shuttles are filled with tourists, they pick you up at your door, they drop you at your door. It's really easy to ask questions, it, you know, get informed, book your travel. When you get out of the airport, what's the airport like? Do you need to just book a shuttle? Can you book a shuttle? Do they have Uber? Here in Guatemala they have Uber, you can just call an Uber. But you know, stay safe, book your travel, don't just like jump on whatever bus and go wherever. Since we're on the topic, this is more of an age thing. If you're over 30 and traveling by yourself, I like to stay in Airbnbs that are locally owned because I get the most information on what's good to do in the daytime from locals and they can help me with everything I need. I'm staying in a chill place with no partying. That's a big one for me. If I was 22 years old and traveling, and I have been, it's kind of nice to stay at the big hotels or big hostels because at the big hostels they have all the activities there, they've got all the shuttle information, and you're probably going to meet other travelers and other solo travelers that you can do things with, like go out at night. Going out at night. So, don't go out by yourself at night. Just don't do it. If you're staying in a hostel where there's lots of other tourists, you can buddy up with people and go out in a group. When you do go out, figure out how you're going to get home before you leave. For instance, here in Antigua, the tuk-tuks all stop running at like 10, 11 o'clock. It's sometimes very hard to get a cab. You don't, even though it's only a few blocks, you do not want to be walking around here by yourself after midnight. Same goes for like San Juan del Sur in Nicaragua. You don't want to be out on the beach at night. That's when people get... Don't go out by yourself at night. Don't come home by yourself at night. In some places like here, you can Uber. You can always ask, if you're at a nightclub, you can always ask a bouncer to help you. I ask doormen, bartenders, and men all over the world to help me that I trust. There's no reason why they won't help. That brings me to another big one that isn't talked about much. Date rape happens all over the world. Women get drugged all over the world. It happens down here too. So do not accept drinks that you didn't see poured from strangers. You just met someone, you've been dancing, that's great. Go to the bar with them if they wanna buy you a drink. Do not accept drinks that you didn't see poured. It's super important. You know, there's no information here about it. This In this place, don't assume that the establishment is responsible for you because they're not. They're not legally responsible for you. You are responsible for you. You're a smart, independent woman. You got this far. Make sure you don't accept drinks that you didn't support. Another hot solo traveler tip is to travel in the daytime. I once uh, was in Guatemala City. I, had, I didn't know anything about Guatemala. It was like 2013 and I was taking the straight shot bus from Guat City to Managua, 16 hours, it's like a coach bus, but it picks you up at two in the morning at this like hotel and casino in the middle of nowhere. And I had to go use the bank because they were only gonna take cash and I had to pay there. And I remember saying, well, where's the nearest bank? And the guy was like, you can't go out there by yourself. So I just made somebody come with me. I was like, well, I need to get money, so come with me. And the guy did, and it was great. I was a little bit worried. And it's because it was two in the morning. I try not to do travel like that. I try to get on in the morning and get off when it's still light out because it's much easier to get around, ask directions, and especially, it's more about your confidence, like not knowing where you're going, not maybe speaking the language, and you don't want to be stumbling around. And as a woman, you know that you're easier to rob. So it's more about you feeling comfortable. So travel in the daytime if you can. Okay, here's my last one. This is for all travelers. Keep your money separate. 
You know, like I travel with a credit card and a bank card and cash. So if I'm gonna go out at night, I only take cash. I still do that here. I've lived here for three years. I still, if I go out at night, I only take cash with me. I don't take any of my cards. I a lot of times like to keep one card in my bag and another one on my person. And then that way, if I, it's more about losing stuff. People lose stuff a lot too. And if I lose my bag or it gets misplaced or I get robbed or whatever happens, I at least have one different card on me. In the same vein, it's a really good idea to scan all of your ID and then put it in a Dropbox or some kind of cloud so that if anything happens, like all your stuff gets lost or falls off a bus or whatever, you can always get it back, go to the embassy, get your passport, all that stuff always keep 20 bucks American, 20 to 40 bucks American on you that you don't spend. You never know when you're gonna hit a border that's gonna need more cash and it's midnight. You know, they often don't have any other way to pay at borders than cash if you're going by foot. So keep some cash on you extra as emergency just in case. Never get caught with zero cash on you, ever. Again, you're a smart independent woman, you got this far, have a great time. Otherwise, it's great traveling on your own. You meet people, you meet other travelers, you get to meet locals, like talk to locals, ask them questions, you know, stay at local places. You know, once you get a little bit comfortable, go out of your comfort zone. You don't have to be scared everywhere you go. A lot of the stuff that happens down here happens all over the world. Just be safe and have fun. Right, Luna? Look at this one. Safe and fun. Adios. Adios, baby. Adios. That face. Oh, and if all else fails, just have a kid. It's like the safest way to travel. Everybody helps you. You never go out at night. You're always with somebody. And who robs a mom by themselves? No one. Just have a baby. Go with your kid. Make all this just easy.